Hello everybody, William and Carol here and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we had the big trip down to Bromwich and Wheelchairs to um, get this wheelchair temporary fixed and to talk about the new chair. Now we weren't able to order the chair yesterday and this video is to explain why that's the case. Um, so we spent a full two and a half hours with Rob down at Bromwich Inn and while we were talking and assessing all my needs his team were doing a temporary fix on this chair so this chair is now up and running um, and will be able to cope with the very short, short term goals so it will be fine for the charity run on Wednesday it will manage Hadrian's wall um, and we probably will be still using this one for the Great North Run which just means that when we do the Great North Run in 2022, we will be faster, lighter, um, and should put a great PB down. The reason behind the delay is actually quite multifold. So number one is we want to get the width correct, and then we also need to get the angles correct. Now. When I went originally, I thought I wanted a fully adjustable chair so that as my skills improved, as my fitness improved and my weight shrunk, um, the chair could adjust with me. Having talked to Rob and understood more about it, I realised that that is not the right thing to do because by adding in adjustment points, you add in weight and you also add in weakness. And because of the way I, what I do and the way I am in a chair, um, we want it to be as light as is practical, but not ultra, ultra light, but also as strong as possible. And we've got to balance the weight and, and strength. And the way to do that is going to be to have a purpose-built chair built specifically for me. But I'm not yet ready to do that. I need to build things up so... The delay is to enable us to buy the best chair possible. The final cost of that will be dictated by a few factors, but it's going to be something above about four and a half thousand pounds. So as well as working on the weight, working on the fitness, working on the um, skills, um, and I need to be at the width that I'm going to be. So the test chair that I got in yesterday was a 15 inch wide chair, which just absolutely blew my mind. So for context, my current chair that I use every day is 18 inch. Um, and my power chair, so it, my pre weight loss width was 20 inch. So it's five inches less than the chair that I was using this time last year. Um, now, I'm not comfortable in that, so we need to get down to that. So the time to judge when to go back will be partly on whether I'm comfortable in a 15-inch chair. The new chair is going to be truly life-changing. Uh, the things that I'm going to be able to do in that chair will be incredible. The places I'll be able to get, the speeds I'll be able to do, the distances. My mind was utterly blown and I was genuinely speechless um, when Rob told me that it was a 15-inch chair. So, to be able to order, I need to be in a 15-inch chair. I need to have worked on my core and have a nice strong core. I need to be able to balance the chair because a new chair will be very finely balanced and so if I've not worked on those balancing skills, it won't be safe. Um, I need to have had my hands assessed. I've got quite a serious problem with my hands um, and we don't know yet whether that's operable. So if they can be operated on, then that will affect what push rooms we can get and if it can't, then the same applies. I realised that everybody was hoping that this fundraiser would happen and I would be straight into the new chair, straight on with the new adventures and um, without having to put things on hold. And it's not quite like that. I can still run, so I will still be able to push myself now. So that week off is now gone and I'm back into full workout mode again. Um, but it's to get the best chair possible, this delay has to happen. If you donated and you're not, entirely happy with the fact that we now have to delay please do get in touch 
Um, I don't want anybody to feel that they're not happy. So in the meantime, I'm going to be hitting the gym hard to build up that core muscle. I'm going to be working on my ability to balance the chair. Um, I'm going to be getting my hands assessed, doing physio on my hands, potentially having surgery. We'll have to wait and see for that. Um, and trying to shrink my bum. So please do follow this journey. Um, please see whether the bum is going to shrink. The muscles are going to grow um, and see where we get to. This is, so advent uh, this is so exciting and you're making this so possible and doing so much. So thank you all for being there. Thank you for the encouragement. Um, thank you for everything and lots of love.